Hi, in this video, I will solve a problem based on Graco Latensky design. This problem has been picked from Design and Analysis of Experiment by Montgomery. The problem number is 4.41. That is an extension of problem 4.48. Let's go to the problem 4.48 first. We want to check the order of assembly, operator, and assembly methods on the assembly time. There are three factors total order of assembly operator and assembly method so the problem has been solved by using latent scale design in the extension of this problem we introduce a fourth factor namely workplace that is that has four level represented by alpha beta gamma and delta in the graco latent scale design we have three license factors so in our case order of assembly operator and workplace these are the three license factors however the assembly methods represented by a b c d these are over levels of the treatment factor in which we are interested the main thing in this problem is how to enter the data in the mini tab i have also solved the same problem by hand you can check my problem solution video in the playlist design of experiments first of all we will make four columns in the mini tab for the factors with the name order of assembly operator assembly methods and workplace and then one column for the response variable assembly time after that we will input the data so for the first observation that has been highlighted in the yellow color we have order of assembly one operator number one assembly method three because we represent here the latent alphabets by numerics so a by one b2 c3 d4 and as well we represent the letters alpha by 1 beta 2 gamma 3 and delta 4 so for the first operation order of assembly 1 operator number 1 assembly method 3 beta 2 so 1 1 3 2 let's go to mini tab so 1 1 3 2 and the assembly time is 11 let's go towards the second one we have 1 2 2 and 3 and the assembly time is 10 let's go towards the third observation now it will be 1 3 d4 and delta 4 so 1 3 4 4 and 14 the fourth one will be 1 4 1 1 8 you can see in the fourth row the fifth observation will be 2 1 2 one eight you can see it here two one two one eight to save your time i've entered the whole data if you need any help you can contact me on the whatsapp as well as on my gmail now, to analyze the problem go to stat then anova and then glm why we are using glm not one way because there are four factors in this problem and a one way ANOVA will be only used when we have only one factor to be analyzed so fit general linear model response is the assembly time where are the factors are assembly order click on double click on it operator double click assembly method workplace select all of the four factors go to the graphs select four in one click ok nothing to do so far and then go to the results i suggest you people strongly recommend you to display the result for the expanded tables because this table will give you the percentage contribution of each factor on the response variable click ok and you will get the results in order to results click on this tab to view only the results here you can see the analysis of various table or ANOVA table will have four factors assembly order operator assembly method and workplace first of all go for the p values the p values associated with all four factors are greater than 0 0.05 so telling us that all of the four factors are found to be insignificant now what's the percentage contribution of each factor on the assembly time so assembly order has a percentage contribution of 0 0.33 operator 12.67 assembly method has a significant contribution of 63.67 percent and workplace 5 percent the error percentage shows that there are still other factors that contributes 18.33 percent 
on the assembly type but we have to explore those factors further in the extension of this research work further the model summary is telling us that four factor explains 81.67 percent variation in the assembly type whereas the r square adjusted value is too small only 8.33 in comparison with 81.67 because the r square adjusted value explains only the ex variation in the response variable by those factors that are significant so none of our factors are found to be significant that's why our r square adjusted value is too low so we will go towards making the plots go to stat then anova then main effect plot to make the main effect plot click here on your response variable assembly time and the main factor assembly method that has been represented by a b c d in the question statement then click ok you will get a graph view only so you can see it here the number three or c uh, assembly method has the highest assembly time so we will not prefer this one we will go for the b or two that has the least assembly time and we will prefer it although this factor is found to be insignificant but the setting number b is giving us the least assembly time that is beneficial to us so by using the same method if you talk about assembly order so assembly order number four this is giving us the least time so we will select it assembly order number four as per the question statement i am drawing the conclusion we have draw the conclusion for two factors so far we have done with assembly order assembly time now go to stat anova main effect plot select the rest of the factors operator which operator is giving us the least assembly time so we will prefer operator number one and then so for the workplace go to stat anova main effect plot select the response variable as assembly time and the factor is workplace that which workplace is giving us the least assembly time so we can see it here the workplace number two is best for us further the most important and interesting thing is this problem that if you ignore this factor uh, c4 workplace during your data analysis so you can perform the same problem as latent scale design go to stat ANOVA GLM fit general linear model just do only one thing delete this factor workplace from here and click OK now you will get the result for the latent scale design so you can see it here you got the ANOVA and this in and in the same problem we got our assembly method as a significant factor if it is found to be a significant one then we will have to perform a post hoc test in order to perform a post hoc go to stat ANOVA one way in the one way ANOVA select only responses assembly time select only that factor that is found to be significant assembly method click on comparisons then to key in the to key click on the test and you will perform the post hoc test in the post hoc test result you can see that the factor is found to be significant and the result of post hoc telling us that we have to prefer assembly method 2 because it has the least assembly time further we have also performed all of the pairwise huge difference between assembly method 2 and 3 thanks all for watching such a lengthy video hopefully you will like it kindly like the channel like the video subscribe to my channel if you have any question you can contact me on the whatsapp thanks a lot bye